Right, uh, Shalom. On the first and foremost, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rukakadash, the blindness to the elders, the apostle, great millstone, the will, and much peace, safety, and blessings, throw for the lick, throughout the four inches of truth, and sincerity, and diligence. All right, uh, the brother of Yah from the great millstone, like Charles Louisiana camp, come with another quick topic. And uh, as always, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? All right. But I want to go into Matthew 22. All right. And uh, hey, basically being a uh, bid into the marriage. All right. Because um, according to, to the scriptures, all right, in order to be bid into this marriage, um, it, it's like you have to have uh, certain, it, it's certain qualifications. All right. According to um, a Leviticus 26 and 46, uh, going into who was the Lord given, give, given to, all right? Because we're in order to be bent to their marriage, you have to be first and foremost an Israelite, all right? So called Negro, Latino, or of the uh, native descent, all right? Because those are, are the true uh, chosen people of who the world ignorantly calls God and uh, Jesus, all right? Whose true, holy, and powerful name is Yahweh, all right, which is the Heavenly Father, and, and the only begotten Son is uh, a Yahweh Shah, all right? So this is Matthew 22 and 9. It says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, be it to the marriage, all right? And that's why we go out on the highways and hedges, all right, to, to be it into the marriage, because what is on, and, and the ones, that we're trying to bid into is the um is the elect, all right? It's gonna be 144,000 elect men, all right? And uh one third of the women and children is gonna uh, a hearken. And uh it's actually gonna be other not not just so women and children, but it's gonna be others to uh, a uh, hearken to the word because you will have uh, like friends of the prophets, all right? That's gonna hearken and take heed, all right? And that's gonna be considered uh of the of the one third, all right? It's going to bid. Word bid, uh, Kaleo, uh, Kaleo, uh, Strong's G, 2564, Kaleo, all right, Kaleo. Kaleo, to call, to bid, it says, uh, to call aloud, utter in a loud voice, all right, to invite, to give a name to, okay, receive the name of, it says uh to give some name to to one to give some name to one all right call his name to be called to bear a name or title among men all right so yeah that's what we do according to um uh isaiah, isaiah 58 all right and we're on the highways and hedges this is isaiah 58 and one cry aloud spare night lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show thy people their transgression and the house of Israel, Jacob, their sins. All right, going to Israel and uh, a Judah. All right, the northern kingdom and, and uh and Jacob, which is which is the the southern kingdom. All right, Negroes, Latinos, and natives as a whole go out and they sift out and search for the elect. All right, cry aloud, call when you on the highways and, and hedges. All right, and, and see, hey, can these uh brothers be bid into their marriage? All right. And Lord willing, they build their lick and they come into their fold. This is uh just going back because uh it says uh, everyone. It says call everyone. And it says yeah, it says and as many as you find be into the marriage. It says uh as many as you find and people would think that by by the scripture saying is that it's everyone, but no. All right, it's not gonna be everyone that's, that's gonna be bidding to their marriage because, as the scripture say, uh, uh, many are called but few are chosen. All right, and we're only looking for those chosen men. All right, this is a uh, first job four and one. All right, and everything must be done in decent, decent, in order. This is a uh, yeah, John four and one. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. All right, because you're going to have some of those spirits that's uh, crept in unaware. All right, it says because many false prophets are going out into the world. All right, so man, we're not looking to save the whole world. All right, we know according to the true wisdom, not going to understand the scriptures. 
all right, that uh, Yahweh Bashim Shah have, have, has provided us with, you know, through the elders and the apostles, um, only that small remnant is going to be saved, all right? Only a small remnant. Going to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it might be 11. Yeah, yeah, this is Romans 11 and 5, all right? It says, even so, then at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. All right, because what grace wasn't wasn't given to everyone; it was only given to the election. All right, those chosen men. Only the chosen men is going to receive uh, a faith, grace, the patience of Yahweh watching y'all shy. All right, continue on, verse ten in uh, Matthew. It says, "So those servants went out into the highways." And gather together all as many as they found, both bad and good. All right, both bad and good. Let me get a uh, John ten. It says, "Uh, this is John ten and one. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbing up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. All right, but he that enter in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. All right, because what you're gonna have, uh." You're going to have people come into this truth, crept in unaware, all right? This is uh, Jude 1 and 4. There are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. You know, ungodly men turning the grace of our power into the... Uh, I can never pronounce this word. lasciviousness, all right, and denying only the Lord and our Lord, Yahushua Mashiach, all right, so they'll come in crypt on the wells for what, spies, and, and basically to try to bring you down, you know, crypt in unaware, like the scripture saying, uh, in John, uh, if they didn't come in through, through that front door, you know, if you came in through the window, hey, <laughs> you're not a truly a servant of Yahushua Mashiach, and ultimately you wouldn't even call into this thing, you know, it says, uh, so yeah, both good and bad. You're going to have good service and you're going to have a bad service. All right. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see his guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. All right. And he said unto him, friend, <laughs> how came it thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless, all right? Then the king said to the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen, all right? The king is just coming to this thing, hey, <laughs> with, with, as the scriptures say, without your wig garment on, all right? We know that that's spiritual garment, all right? Uh, let me go on to that parable real quick. Uh. Five wise and the five foolish. Cause what, man? You, you gotta actually be, uh, man. You gotta actually be fully persuaded. You know, you gotta be fully persuaded in this thing. This is Matthew twenty-five. Uh, I'm we'll gonna start at the top. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps. And went forth to meet the bridegroom. All right, and this lines up perfect. It says, "And the and the five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise, it says, uh, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. All right, going to what? Hey, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Cause uh, let me grab that real quick." Back that point up. Uh, Proverbs 6 and uh, 23. It's, uh, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. All right? So they kept that their wisdom not to understand the will. All right? Uh, it says, yeah, but the, but the wise took their oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. 
all right niggas lazy not uh, being on the watch all right it says and then midnight there was a, a cry made <laughs> behold the bridegroom coming go ye out to meet him <laughs> it says then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. All right, famine. It's time to look and hey, keep our stuff because what the wisdom of God's understanding shall be the stability of thy times. And when it says that, it is speaking of the your temptations or the things that you might have to go through. All right, of thy times. That's singular. It says, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your all, for our lamps are going up. <laughs> But the wise answer saying, not so. Like, in, in other words, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you know, hey, you wasted your time. And you you know, you were BSing around. Now, nah, hey, we get here to this point in this moment. Hey, what if the Lord is letting all these things loose? And it's it's time to see what you built of, uh, where your foundation stand. And you, hey, you're not prepared, you know? It says, at least there be not enough for us and you. So, hey, man, you had your chance to, to build up. Hey, you had your chance to be, to be built up, all right? But what? You was tearing. You, you made tear to turn to your house by Shemiah Shah. It says, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves, all right? It says, uh, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, all right? And they that went, and they, so like, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. The door was shut, all right? Afterward came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, over to us. But he answered and said, Verily, I know. I, <laughs> but he answered and said, Verily, I said to you, I know you not. All right? Let me get that. Uh, let me get that. Uh, saying that they. Yeah, yeah. This is Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. All right? But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. All right? So, yeah, not everyone that's, that's going to call on the name is going to be saved. You know? Because it said what? Hey, they had those lamps. You know? They had those lamps and also they had a, a time to do it. All right? But what? Hey, they, they, they tarried with it. They they tear it to him when the Lord come back, he gonna tell them, hey, look, I don't even know you. Depart from me. Alright? Depart from me. Get out of my sight. <laughs> and then we know what that's gonna lead to. You know, a death. Great death. But uh man, just wanted to go into that that, that quick topic, alright, of being being into this marriage and being hey man, being just being just because we know that well, uh, we've been called into this thing that we can just uh, hey, put everything on on, on pause. All right, hey, we have to continue to uh, hey, do the works. All right, because we also uh, let me get this preset real quick. Get this preset real quick. This is a uh, Second Peter's one and ten. Wherefore I rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. All right, and we have all, of, all we have all of the uh, the descriptions. All right, in the different stories that we can go back to and and see how the men of old conducted themselves doing the same things that we're doing today. All right, and it didn't fall by. It, all right, but um, yeah, man, we have to still put in the works, even though that we've been bid into this thing. All right, because what we have to make our current election sure. So with that. Amen. Uh, Lord willing, hey, this uh, quick topic was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double nine to the elders, and the prophets of great millstone to rule well. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. Shalom.